John Rasmus here with Rasmus Gaming. So I accidentally bought this level 16 tier 3 female. Didn't want her. I thought she had a breed ability, but she doesn't. Now I have to sacrifice one of my males. So I'm just going to name the baby Babe. Let's do it. Two tier 3s. Hopefully we get something good. Okay, what did we get? All right, we got a tier four male named Babe. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Matter of fact, all I wanted was to replace Baby. So that's not bad at all. But back to the training of my horse, Blackie. I've been training Blackie for a couple days now it's not a quick process. It's extremely slow. Blackie is a tier 5 male, level 29. This is the highest I've ever trained a horse. Blackie is a baby of two horses that I bred. Level 29 has taken at least three days of constant running back and forth to get here. The reason I'm running in town within the green zone is because all of my previous advice and anything I mentioned concerning running outside of the green zone it's different from server to server but there are griefers and griefers will kill your horse even though killing horse results in negative karma they'll do it on top of that they will drag monsters to do the job for them, to avoid any penalties. And I believe my horse died, luckily not this one, but my horse Candy died twice. Candy died from a player. I used to have this loop go a little bit outside past the bridge, and it was only in the red zone for a few seconds. Well, while I was AFK, training Candy, going outside into the red zone for a few seconds, a griefer decided to kill Candy. They couldn't kill me because this was before I hit level 45. But now I am level 45, so I have to be a little bit more careful. I'm a little bit more of a target now. And now with the new Node Wars, you have to be extra cautious. Because the entire subserver can become a node war where I believe anyone can attack anyone type of situation or I've never participated in a node war yet and I'm sure it's going to be fun when I'm in PvP mode but right now I'm just training horses focusing on that 100%. So stay in the green zone if you want to be 100% safe. There are griefers out there. And there are monsters that will randomly pop. A, a commenter left a comment on one of my videos and said his favorite place to train horses was right here. Along this area. And I, I, I trained here for two days. It's actually a great spot. But it's 99% in the red zone. The war zone. Even though I didn't see anything for two days straight. I set up the macro, left for work, set up the auto loop, and t within 10 minutes of driving to work, a monster killed my horse and killed me because my horse got a death count. And uh, I never saw a single monster here for two days straight. So either a player pulled a monster onto the road via one of these thief NPCs that follows players that are trading and have trading in their backpack or trading in their mounts or wagons. Either this was pulled via a trader player or a player physically pulled it off the mountain. It seems unlikely, but something like that happened because a monster killed me and my horse, because that's how I got a death on candy. 
So I know for a fact that a player killed Candy over here because my horse did not get a death count. When players kill your horses, they do not receive a death count. So that's one good thing. But to prevent any stopping of the arduous lengthy process, I'm not leaving the green zone and I have a perfect loop even though it's very short. I wish it was longer. But we're 375,000 experience of 660,000 experience, which is level 30 for a tier 5 horse. I'm going to breed Blackie with a tier 5 female named Edge with zero death counts. Candy is a tier 5 female with one death count, and I believe one death count doesn't really do much, hopefully, regarding the random number generator calculations for a baby. I'm not actually professional yet. I am skilled 5, 87%. But after skilled 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I will become rank professional 1. And the lowest top 30 is professional 5. So there is a chance I might reach the bottom of this list one day. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, this is very interesting. Hmm. Number one used to be an artisan. They just got deleted from the list, meaning they were cheating and they were caught cheating and they got banned or kicked off the list. That's awesome. So Professional 9 is currently Uno's, and I'm on the server Uno, top horse trainer in the game. Is professional nine on uno i'm on the north american uno server which is the newest server which is a good thing for a latecomer because you don't want to join a server that is too advanced where everyone is way high now these people are way higher than me but i can theoretically catch up to them if they slack off i'm not cheating i'm not a cheater and i have to admit i thought a game master killed me when I woke up and I didn't have a death count on my horse because I didn't know the rules exactly. And I seriously doubt a Game Master did that. It was just a griefer, most likely both times. Could have been a total accident, non-griefer player accidentally pulling a murderous NPC monster. Either way, stay safe. If you want to be 100% safe, stay in the green zone when you're training your horses. I thank you for watching. If you know of any better green zone areas with longer runs that are fully in the green zone, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite training spot is. This has been John Rasmus with Rasmus Gaming. Be seeing you.